Facts have nothing to do with the truth. I feel like at this point, everybody knows that the way to get views and likes and shares and blow up on social media and go viral is to talk about black people. Hello, lovelies. Oh my gosh, when I tell y'all I love this shirt, I never realized how good I could look in a polo shirt. And pink is my color. Look at this color. Anyway, before, let's get into it. My name is Sandra. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to... And if you're returning, support it. You already know you're my day ones. I love y'all. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Um, by today's title, you guys may have already know what I'm going to be talking about. It's about this guy named Joe Rogan. I guess he's a podcaster. I don't care about him. I, I don't care to look him up. I don't care to find out what he got going on. But um, what I really want to talk about is care what racist white people have to say about black people i guess he's a podcaster he was paid a hundred million no sorry i think he he's paid like a million dollars um by shopify that's how much i don't care about this man y'all i don't care to look him up i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna speak my piece which doesn't really have to do with him but i'm just using him as an example okay so apparently this podcaster says some problematic made some problematic commentaries about black people as you know white people tend to do when they need to get their views up because that's all they talk about they talk about the kings and queens because they ain't got nothing else going on for them so they got to mention the king and queen you know to get some views so um apparently he he's i believe Italian or something and this is why I tell you I got the problem with these people of color thing y'all claim Italians are not white da -da 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 But that doesn't make them any less racist or anti black That's why I got the problem with y'all trying to group us with other people that ain't got shit to do with us But personally Let's get into the video. I don't care what white people got to say about black people. I really couldn't care less um, I don't care specifically what um, races white people gotta say about black people because I don't give a shit. Those people don't know they, what they're talking about. What do white people know? White people don't know shit. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. White people don't know anything about life or how life is supposed to be, which is how, why, okay, they spend their lives chasing after money, okay, and they don't take time to actually enjoy life for what it is. When we die, we don't take this money with us. We have right now to live. Picture this right now today. You are given a life, right? <laughs> to live and enjoy and live it to the fullest and have fun. What do they do? They kill the fun out of everything. I'm telling you, they kill the fun out of everything because they don't understand the very basic fundamentals of life, which is happiness. So why the hell I'm going to listen to somebody who makes out with their dog? Why the hell I'm going to take advice about my own people that I know that I am one of or about somebody who don't know they're supposed to act, wash their asses? Why the hell I'm going to listen to somebody who don't scrub their feet when they shower because the water runs down anyway, doesn't it? So we need to stop giving these people so much power, okay? I mean, I understand why his podcast is dangerous. He has access to a many like-minded racist people who not only listen to and support his podcast, but take what he's saying as fact and act on it. Because we know one thing white people are going to do is live in fear. And what do they do when they live in fear? They attack. They bomb a country. They hang people. That's what they do. They attack. So why would I listen to somebody who don't know nothing about what life is supposed to be about? Life is supposed to be for the living, to be enjoyed, not to go around and attack people because my views differ from them. We know they are the main people, okay, these racist people, they are the main people that when they are threatened by something that may or may not be true, the threat doesn't even have to be real. As long as they believe it is, they go on the offense. They go on the offense because they are so afraid that they're so weak. They're so afraid that they're so inferior, okay, that they try to project their insecurities on other people. They want us to adopt this behavior or this belief that we are lesser. That's why they continue to regurgitate it because they believe if they say it long enough, it becomes fact. And as a matter of fact, a lot of their lies have become facts in society, but there's according to them but that does that make it a true it doesn't make it true facts have nothing to do with the truth that's the 
That's a sad thing, right? Facts have nothing to do with the truth. If you say something long enough, you keep writing it in books. Okay, for example, let me give you an example of how facts have nothing to do with the truth. Rihanna's pregnant with ASAP Rocky, blah, blah, blah. She broke my internet, blah, 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 blah. All right? A lot of people are speculating, you know, making videos. This is Drake's response. This is how Drake's feeling, blah, 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 blah. Now, it could be, it could become a fact that, you know, Drake was distraught about Rihanna's pregnancy as far as we're concerned in our minds. Does that make it true? No. Drake could have possibly already known about it right you could have possibly not care because he got his own thing going on but the fact that doesn't stop us from believing the fact that he's over there wherever he is distraught and that becomes a fact that is repeated by millions of people over time and does not change that doesn't make it the truth now does it it's the same thing the same way white people want to go on and on and on you know write their books of lies about black people they want to make us feel inferior because no matter what they do no matter what they say no matter how much they keep pushing us it's like they can't get rid of us you can't get rid of the original because you yourself hmm, I'm not even gonna go there okay but anyway it becomes very dangerous when white men get on a platform especially a platform like Spotify that is um, being upheld mainly by black artists Right, a lot of black artists are on shopping. Um, I'm saying Shopify, Spotify's platform, right? A lot of artists, black artists, have their services on. They have their music on Shopify. That Shopify have their music on Spotify being streamed and shop. Spotify keeps making a lot of money off of them. Okay, let me ask you a very fair question. Answer me that. When Spotify was giving him that million, or however much they were giving him, do you truly, in your heart of hearts, believe that they knew he wasn't a racist? Do you truly, in your heart of hearts, believe that they care? They don't care. I think now they said they're not taking down the podcast. They're just going to put a disclaimer. It may be, you know, blah, 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 blah. Do you think they care? They do not. Do you think those people are not racist themselves? Would it, okay, let me ask you another question. Would it really shock you, right, that uh, Spotify, um, whoever, um, Spotify workers, um, whoever is in charge over there is racist? Would it shock you? Oh, well, they can't be racist. They um, allow streaming of black music. Baby, slavery, okay? Um, guess what? Black music is on there. They profit off of it. When have white people ever said no to free black labor to make them profit off of black bodies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, I understand why it's dangerous. Um, but as far as me taking it personally and getting my feelings hurt and being in a... You know why I really wanted to make this is because I noticed that somebody put... I had been... So, I'd been hearing about what was going on, right? And um, I actually was reading what he was said. I found myself very upset. So, I stepped back. I said, okay. Why am I so mad about this? He said this. He said that. I'm seeing what he's saying about black people. Um, comparing black people to, you know, animals that they keep doing for centuries. Um, saying Africa is a dark place. Like, literally the place where the sunshine is. Um, all of that, right? And I was extremely upset. And then I started thinking, why am I upset about some white man's opinion? Hmm? Since when do we care about white man's opinion, never? Why do I care about a white man's opinion? I don't. And don't. I don't care what, what white men gotta say. I don't care. I don't not care. Especially when it's racist and not even factual. You know what pissed me off most about racist stuff? If it was factual, I could I could see it. You know, okay, I could see it. But it's not even factual. So why am I getting upset over a racist Italian man stating his opinion and getting paid for it? I'm not upset. I understand that. I agree that, um, yeah, it should be taken down because then, you know, the, he's emboldened other racist white men to try to act on it. But, you know, act up, get, act up, get snatched up, snatched up. Mm -hmm. That's why they need guns because they know they can't back up that talk. They need a gun. They need a gun. But anyway, like I said, ain't nobody worried about that little dick ass white man. Please, little pink shrimp ass motherfucker. 
little pig can't even sit in the sun in a hot sun motherfucker you want to claim you superior are you okay next time here's something i got for you next time a white person say something racist to you if you're indoors say let's take it outside make sure it's a hot sunny day say, let's take it outside i'm not gonna fight you i'm not i'm not trying to fight you let's sit out here for 30 minutes in the hot sun we're gonna see who's superior okay okay and i it, okay but anyway y'all it was just like i I took my power back once I realized I, I don't give a fuck what this motherfucker gotta say. <laughs> Please. Wanna talk shit about black people here. You know? I don't know why it is that every time, every time y'all want some views, y'all go after black people. It's like I feel like at this point they know. I feel like at this point everybody knows that the way to get views and likes and shares and blow up on social media and go viral is to talk about black people. I feel like even businesses that are making these um that faux pas and you know oh my gosh we didn't know this was controversial oh my god gucci did this now that one did that now i feel like they know that they are actively using that as a marketing point imagine that we're your entire marketing system and you telling me we're not powerful i'm telling you i feel like businesses actively use being racist as a marketing point because they feel like there's going to be an uproar there's going to be backlash and they're gonna go viral and there's no such thing as bad press so they actively use that just like he's doing just like other people are doing anyway child, thank you all for watching this show i hope you like my hair and this pink is looking bomb on me happy black history month stay black and stay proud shop sswmerch.com um Sandra said what at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram. Sandra said what? Follow me on TikTok. I'ma see y'all later. I'ma keep my fine black ass here and keep keeping them mad just by being here. Just by being here, I'ma keep them mad. See y'all later.